Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Another interested parties. Here's a F-250 Super Duty 2001. Hips to it. 7x16 enclosed trailer. Basically used for landscaping. Nice size enclosed trailer. I can basically lock up all my equipment and tools and stuff in here. It also has a, a vent on the top, which basically you know what I'm saying, lets uh, the air out. So, like, the heat won't basically get all cramped up in there. A lot of the gas and fumes and stuff to ventilate. <sighs> so, uh, so, basically, no fire, no hazards, nothing to happen. Double tandem uh, dual rail axles. Two axles. Holds well, quite a bit of weight, too. I don't know exactly what. Like the weight right in the hose, but I know it holds quite a bit more than what I'll put in there. <laughs> but that's pretty good. That 250 pulls the trailer pretty good too. I had a, um, a 1993 Chevy K 1500 pickup truck. Uh, basically, this trailer hitched up to it before this truck. It was pretty good. Pulled it, but uh, <laughs> I guess I got the year of work and abuse. The transmission started slipping on it. So I got the F 250 hooked up to it, and it's doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, right, right here we have the um, 61 inch right Centaur mower. Has three 21 inch blades on the bottom of the deck. Cuts pretty good too. Pretty, pretty nice and sharp and tight. Strikes pretty good too. Need nice clean cuts. I changed the blades on it about like two months ago. It's still pretty good, but I should probably change them again. But I might get into it later. But um, this right here, this is a pretty good mower though. Like, this is my first like zero turn mower, and ah uh, man, this mug is a beast. <laughs> and I, I read like a lot of good reviews on this mower too, and it's supposedly pretty good. So um, I mean, if I had to write a review, it would be pretty good too. Like, it's very strong. Like, it don't choke out. It doesn't bog down. Um. It's pretty fast too, pretty strong. Um, cut hills pretty well too. Like it has good traction. It has um, like a low center base. Matter of fact, we walk on the other side. Music gonna loud. I don't feel like running back to the church turning it down. But um, it has a low like center base or center of gravity, and everything's in the center and it's compact. So it basically like allows it to keep traction pretty well. Nice big wide wheels in the back. Good tread, dual fuel tanks. So, like, it actually, you know I'm saying, pretty good on gas, too. And I guess since I got dual gas tanks, I can go a pretty good time before I have to, like, fill both of them up. So, it's pretty good. Um, oh, yeah, another good thing about these moors is, since they're so compact, it saves you a lot of space inside the trailer. So, it's like, it doesn't take up as much space as, like, a sit down, like, riding like zero turn mower or riding mower um it's real really compact so it saves me a lot of space i think i'm gonna give me another one like another um zero turn mower i'm gonna get a, a right centaur as well i don't know if i'm gonna get a 61 or i'm gonna get a maybe a 52 or maybe a 48 but um the next zero turn mower i'm gonna get i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a, a right as well standard because these are pretty good mowers <coughs> and right here's the bagger for it uh, I think it holds 4.3 cubic feet of grass or leaves or whatever it is you want to bag basically when you cut the grass. It's pretty good. It collects most of it. This right here is the Echo PB770T backpack blower. Um, this is pretty good too. It blows pretty well. This is the first backpack blower I bought. And uh, this, at the time, it was like the most powerful backpack blower on the market. And, um, yeah, it, it blows pretty well, pretty strong. And right now, there's a stronger backpack blower on the market made by Red Max. I don't know the exact name and model number of it, but um, but I can't really complain about this one though. That this one blows pretty well, and it's very comfortable too. It, it doesn't like leave you sore, or stiff, or anything. They vibrate a lot. It has like all the components to basically make it comfortable for you and blow pretty well, pretty strong. Blows grass, leaves, almost 
Most things need to blow pretty well. It blows up pretty good. Um, yeah, over here got the uh, Toro 22 inch push more self propelled. This is pretty good more too. It's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> regular push more. Not much really said about it, but it does a job. It does a pretty good job. Um, over here we have the uh, John Deere GS45 walk behind commercial more. Um, this mower right here is the first big mower that I've actually bought. Like, besides mowers like these right here, this mower is like the first big mower that I bought. And, um, it's pretty good. It does a pretty good job. It does a pretty good job. Um, man, I, I know I, like, it took a little bit of learning for me to get used to it, but once I got with a learning curve, which was probably like a day or two, like, I was able to maneuver pretty well and had it right now for about, like, two years. So, uh, it, it's doing pretty well. It's serving its purpose. But one thing, it, um, it cuts pretty well, too, but uh, it's belt-driven. So, um, basically, if you want to, like, stop and go in reverse and, like, make turns without, basically, um, um, uh, basically putting, like, ruts in the ground or, like, tearing the grass up when it's wet or whatever, you basically got to stop, put it in neutral, then basically pull it to go whichever way you want to go and then put it back and dry here are the um here's the thing to switch the gears <sighs> excuse me the thing to switch the gears has five gears one through five has a neutral and a reverse um pretty easy to to work it's pretty simple starts up pretty well too it, it does a good job so man that right is beautiful <laughs> but back to the john deere um, it does a pretty good job though. But another thing that I don't like about it though is with this mower, I can't put a Velky on it. Um, because this, the thing that shifts the gears right here from this walk behind belt driven mower, the thing that shifts the gears, it it, hold on, it comes down too far. So and the Velky is supposed to attach right here, and I'm supposed to bring it up to chain it up to like round up in here, and the Velky is supposed to basically be down here for me to stand on a ride. But I can't ride on it because this piece right here is blocking the way. So, and for these moors, you can't put a Velky on it. Well, that's okay, though. I mean, it, it still does a good job. And my guy who uses it, he has to walk a bit. But, <laughs> hey, you see, it's better than using this more than using a 22. But the 22 is still good, though. But um, this more is pretty good. But um, next walk behind more I get is probably going to be like an X-Smart Hydro, probably Turf Tracer get one of those but um yeah this mower is pretty good it's pretty strong too it's not as strong as this one though because this has a bigger motor and it's bigger and stronger bigger blades and everything but this here it does a pretty good job too it's pretty good um yeah uh over here we have uh echo um man what is this SRM 266T Weed Whacker, Weed Eater, Trimmer, whatever you want to call it. It's that. This this is it, yeah. This is the second um, strongest um, weed whacker they have, Echo makes. And it does a pretty good job. This mug is it's the T more T model, which means it has 50% more torque, like like an overdrive in the um, gearbox basically like when you like really need it it kicks in and it whacks high grass tall grass weeds a bunch of stuff wax it all down it does a pretty good job and i bought this um attachment to go with it um they call it the edge it the edge it uh the edge it uh basically the edge it <laughs> like i usually see um brickman they're a large landscaping company and uh they have this on theirs and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I was like, hey, uh, it looks cool. Let me get it. But uh, well, when you use it, though, it's very good. It's very good. Um, it blocks a lot of debris from coming back up at you. It allows you to edge sidewalks and walkways easy. Um, it allows you to judge where things are at. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good uh, Wii Worker. I have two of these. Here's one of them. That's a, that's, this one's a year old. I bought this one last year sometime in like May or June, somewhere around there. But uh, it's pretty good, though. And here's the second one that I own. Same Wee Whacker, SR Echo SRM 266T, uh, with the um, the edge on the um, 
on the uh, the end of it. Uh, dual string. <coughs> Excuse me. Dual string beater, pretty good. And this right here is an Echo Edger for um, basically edging walkways. Basically getting a nice deep, nice sharp edge. Like I use this one right here. It does pretty good. And this is the PE 266S. That's I think that's the strongest, the biggest that they make. The Echo, and it, it does a pretty good job. This this mug does <laughs> some edging, pretty good. Um, this right here is uh, I always keep this in my um, trailer. And I'm not using it right now in the summertime, but I'm going to be using it on a couple of jobs that I have coming up for edging beds and making new mulch beds. But um, but yeah, I just don't want to really like leave this in my backyard. <laughs> So this right here, I bought this brand new this year in April. What was it? March. I bought it in March. Uh, so I don't really want to like leave this out. So I always keep this on me. <laughs> yeah, this right here. This this makes mulch uh, edging beds jobs easy. Totally easy. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, this this here is kind of like my baby right now. But it's a beast. <laughs> this mug is a beast. Yeah. Now I have a um, the long steel hedge trimmers back here but uh, I don't really feel like pulling it out but it's the one that you can basically pull out uh, using different angles and it's pretty long and yeah, it's pretty good uh, I have a steel chainsaw up here this is a professional chainsaw it is the uh, what is this oh, man. Uh, hold on. what is it Still MS 362. It has the big motor in it because it is the professional one. And yeah, this mugs the beast. So I bought this brand new in April, and it cuts pretty well, real well. And there's the oil for it right there, and it's the chainsaw. Pretty good, <laughs> pretty good chainsaw. Yeah, I've cut, I cut up some tree limbs. I haven't cut down a large tree with it yet, but once I get a job, uh, I'll probably take a video of it so you can see it. This mug cuts through it smooth, <laughs> like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, walking out of the enclosed trailer. Again, this is a 7x16, and you can see it's pretty wide, pretty high. I don't have to duck in when I walk in. It fits the mowers in pretty well, easy. Drive in easy, back out easy. It's pretty easy. <laughs> so this is a good. This is a pretty good trailer. Um, I like it. I like it. Uh, I think I'm about to get a dump trailer next or a dump truck, depending on, <laughs> I guess, uh, what deal I can find. <laughs> if I get like a really good deal on a dump truck, I'm gonna have a dump truck pretty soon. Probably like within a month or two. But if not, probably a dump trailer, seven by sixteen dump trailer. I need to get that because um, I'm about to get a leaf vacuum for basically leaf removal. So I gotta be prepared when leaves come around. Because last year I was just using a tarp, like I was like basically um, putting all the leaves in a pile, like in a pile, like a large pile of leaves. <laughs> and then I was using a tarp, and I was like basically raking the leaves on the tarp, and then from the tarp I had to drag it all the way in to the trailer pack it all down <laughs> and then come back out <laughs> do it all over again <laughs> so I was like nah yeah, I mean I made, I made some nice money doing it last year but man it was tiring it was back breaking it makes you real fatigued when you got home and I'm trying to basically work smarter easier smarter and make more money <laughs> So I'm about to get like a leaf vacuum and a dump truck or dump trailer to make my job a whole lot easier this year. And so, but I'll update you guys pretty soon once I get it. And um, yeah, and this is not all my equipment. I have a whole lot more equipment, um, but I don't have it all with me in the trailer today. But um, but when I get to like my other equipment, I'll probably make a video of that soon, or I'll try to get to it. So I'm not gonna say soon. I'm not gonna guarantee it, but I try to get to it soon. Depending on if I have some time. But um, yeah. 
So that's the video of uh, my setup for right now. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.